India is on the brink of a defence milestone that could redefine its fighter fleet. The Indian government is set to approve a joint project between Francis Saffron and DRDO to design and manufacture a 120 kiloton jet engine. This engine will reportedly power the upcoming advanced medium combat aircraft. Reports suggest that Saffron has agreed to transfer complete technology rights, including advanced single crystal blade technology, to DRDO. The plan envisions nine engine prototypes over 12 years, starting with 120 kilo ton thrust and scaling up to 140 kilo newton ton by the end of the program. India is already working with US defense firm GE for 212 F404 engines with another order expected soon. A separate agreement is also in pipeline for the advanced GE414 engines involving 70% technology transfer. However, India views its collaboration with France as strategically more stable. Engine manufacturing is expected to begin in India within three years. This aligns with the plan orders and prototype testing of the Tejas Mark II. If successful, the clean sheet design and co-production of 120 and 140 kN engine will mark a major milestone, giving the Indian Air Force long sought autonomy in fighter propulsion. The move follows Prime Minister Narendra Modi's push for indigenous aircraft engine development, a capability considered critical for defense self reliance with potential civilian applications. While countries such as the US, Russia, UK, and France have mastered this field, India's earlier efforts with the indigenous engine fell short of expectation. The Kaveri turbojet project was envisioned to power the Tejas light combat aircraft and represent a step towards aerospace self-reliance. Initiated in 1980s with GTRE under DRDO, the project aimed to produce high-performance fighter engine, but it faced multiple hurdles that prevented it from taking off. The Kaveri engine could not deliver the power required for the Tejas, and issues with overheating and durability further affected its viability. India also lacked access to advanced materials and testing infrastructure. Then came the Pokhran II nuclear test in 1998. The world sanction choked off the Kaveri program just as it needed foreign inputs most. The project, which was originally sanctioned 382 crore, ballooned to over 2,000 crore by the mid-2000s. Sanctions meant that importing even the basic subsystems at premium cost through indirect channels or developing them from scratch and in the domino effect came the light combat aircraft Tejas. The LCA Tejas was designed around the Kaveri engine. Because the engine fell behind schedule, the aircraft program had to switch to GE's F404 engine as an interim solution. This substitution caused further design tweaks, integration tests, and certification delays, pushing the LCA induction. Procon proved India's defense R&D could be throttled at will by technology choke points. It also seeded the political resolve for today's self-reliance push. That's why the Saffron DRDO engine deal is different. France has agreed to a full technology transfer, including single crystal blade, the very capability the Kaveri lacked. If the 120-140 KN engine succeed, India will not only power its fifth-generation AMC fighters and future naval jets, but also finally achieve a propulsion autonomy it set out for in 1989. It's a second chance at a decades-old ambition and perhaps the most consequential test yet for India's Atnebhar defense vision.